Hello everyone, welcome to First Lady Fashion and Style. So today we'll be learning how to make the ruffle sleeve. The ruffle sleeve is a very beautiful sleeve on blouses and I think we should learn how to make ruffle sleeve. So to make the ruffle sleeve, we'll be needing our ganza. This is a ganza and this is crinoline. This is crinoline. We'll be needing a crinoline and then we would also need our hand needle. This is the hand needle with the matching thread. That's what we'll be needing to make the ruffle sleeve. So to start with, we are going to start with our crinoline. So for this crinoline here, I have cut out two pieces. This um, crino, this um, organza is 12 by 60. The length of this organza is 60 and the breadth here is 12 inches. So we'll be needing two of that. We'll be needing two to make this ruffle sleeve. So if this is your first time on this channel, please, I want you to press the subscribe button and the like button. You can also press the notification so that you'll be notified anytime I upload any new video. And if you are a subscriber already, thank you for subscribing. I want you to press the like button so that I will know the kind of content you want and know what to make the next time. So what we are going to do now is you're going to put your crinoline on the organza. This is the first one and the second organza. So I'm going to put it together and then you're going to put your crinoline on it, leaving about half inch. Leaving about half inch and then I'm going to put them together and sew this way. You want to sew very close to the edge of the crinoline and the organza. You keep sewing it down so you get to the very to the very end. Don't fold the crinoline and make sure that the organza at the edges are together. Don't pull it. So when you get to the edge this way, you can see all you just need to do is to flip it over because we are going to add crinoline to the other side too. So I'm going to bring in my crinoline and I'm going to add to this other side this way. The same way we did the first one, I'm going to add to this side and sew it down. The same thing we did to the other side. Make sure you arrange your ganza. Make sure it's laying flat. So, I'm done with this other side. So what we are going to do now is we are going to close up this end. I'm going to cut it so that I will have a straight line here. Okay, I want it to be equal. So I'm going to close up this place this way. I just close it up. So on this other side here, I'm going to close it up too, but I'm going to leave like five inches because I'm going to turn it inside out. So on this side, I'm going to sew it down, but I'm not going to sew it to the end. I'm going to leave like five inches. So 
what I will do now is I will just go in through this space that I've left. I'm going to put my hand inside and pull it out. It's not difficult. Just put your hand inside and pull it out. So now you can see I've turned it inside out. So the next thing is that I'm going to close up this space here. We don't need it to be open. So I'm going to tuck it in this way and I'm going to sew it down to close that opening. We don't need it to be open. Okay. So once that is done, the next thing for us to do is to place the machine the organza inside, we have to sew it down. So right now, I can see the organza inside. So all you just need to do is look at it and then sew it down like this. Make sure you use your hand to arrange and sew it down. So, I'm done with this side. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to sew the other side too. You can see I'm seeing the crinoline. Make sure you try it. Don't just watch the video. Watch and try to make your own ruffle sleeve. Try and practice. So I'm seeing it, I'm going to sew the second side, I'm going to sew it down. Make sure you arrange your ganza as you sew it down. So I'm done with this other side. We are almost done. So now that you have your crinoline this way, the next thing we are going to do is to come in with a Hand needle. Make sure you tie the bottom part so that it doesn't come out. You will start from this end here. Try and locate the midpoint, the middle of this place, and you put your needle here and try to create the long stitch. Try to create the long stitch this way. You put your needle and then you pull. Make sure you secure the other part so that it doesn't come out. Make sure you secure it. Look at mine. Make sure you secure it. And then you continue that, that till you get to the other side. Just keep pulling. Keep pulling. Draw a long stitch and keep pulling this way until you get to the end. So this is the end, this is the end of the sleeve. So you can see it's already coming out. We already have a beautiful ruffle sleeve. So you make sure that this other end, you can see how it looks. So what you are going to do now is you are going to use your hand to arrange. You're going to put this on your sleeve and use the same needle. You're going to tack it from the front of your sleeve and then you open it up this way and then tack at the middle where you have your gathers. That's where you're going to tack till you get to the end and you will fix it from the front of the sleeve to the back of the sleeve. So if you want yours, if you want it to be very full, I'm going to show you the one that I have tacked on the blouse here so if you want yours to be very full you can make two of these and attach to one hand and make two and attach to the other hand so i hope you've enjoyed this class i'm going to show you the one i have tapped please make sure you press the like button i want to know the kind of content you like and please make sure you subscribe it's going to encourage me to make more videos so that we can learn together Okay, so this is the completion of the top. 
I have fixed the ruffles for both hands and I hope you can see it. It's looking very nice. Please make sure you subscribe. Just press the button subscribe and press the notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever I load another tutorial. And then please like the channel, like it so that I will know the kind of content you want me to produce. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.